Early in 1977, shortly after being inaugurated as the 39th President of the United States, Jimmy Carter was conferring in a White House office with an aide when two mice scampered across the carpet. The General Services Administration, which cares for federal buildings, was summoned to the White House and the President resumed his grapplings with the affairs of state. But the mouse problem persisted. Days before Latin American heads of state arrived for the signing of the Panama Canal Treaties, one small gray creature crawled inside a White House wall and died. The Oval Office became scented with the odor of the deceased. The General Services Administration was again summoned. The agency declared in its report to the President that it had killed all the mice inside the White House and that therefore the expired mouse must have come from outside of the edifice. An outside mouse, GSA explained, was the responsibility of the Interior Department which cares for the White House grounds. The Interior Department respectfully but firmly demurred. Obviously, the mouse was now inside, since it was embedded within a White House wall. I can't even get a damn mouse out of my office, the President complained. So he summoned an official from each agency to sit before his desk to witness the odor. Soon the bureaucratic deadlock was broken and the Oval Office's normal atmosphere was restored. But the episode troubled an aide who had overseen its resolution and whose own grand notions of presidential power included the expectation that a presidential command, once given, was promptly and automatically obeyed. Ruefully, he observed, it took an interagency task force to get that mouse out of the White House. 